And now we move to repeat the names of the school subjects. We have maths. Maths is an abbreviation of mathematics. Now physics, chemistry, and biology. My students, physics, chemistry, and biology, these three subjects are science. So science could include physics, chemistry, and biology. Science could include physics, chemistry, and biology. Now, after chemistry, we have history and geography. In geography, as you know, we study about countries, cities, maps, uh, about nature, rivers, mountains, etc. Now we have PE. What's PE? PE means physical education. This is a sport. Now, RE. RE means religious education. Religious education. In uh, religious education, we study about uh, different religions. Now, as Muslims, we study about Islam, but in West countries, they study about Christianity. Now, home economics, maybe at our school, we don't have this school subject. In home economics, students can learn about uh, doing different jobs at home, like sewing, cooking, and etc. Art. Yes. And now we have at any school, there is a part for learning uh, a foreign language. We have Arabic, French, and English. Now, also we have music, information technology, IT. IT means information technology. And uh, in some other uh, school subjects, uh, we say ICT. This means information and computer technology. Now, we will move to learn how to talk about how to talk about school subjects. Of course, as a student at a school, um, you don't like all the subjects at the same level. Some of the subjects are the best, are favorite for you. Favorite. For example, you say, my favorite school subjects are mathematics and English. My favorite. Favorite. Now, here, Sometimes you are good at some subjects, but they are not the best, not the most uh, important for you. So you can say, I am good at, good at physics and chemistry. Physics and chemistry. Now, when you hate, when you don't like a school subject, what can you say? You can say, I am bad at, when you don't get high marks, good marks, uh, in a school subject, you say, I am bad, for example, I am bad at history and geography because I hate to remember dates. Now, using going to, as I talked before, we use going to to talk about the plans for the future. Now, she is going to study medicine at university when, look, here we have two sentences and I matched them using when, when she finishes her school. Also, we use going to when we are almost sure about something. For example, here, number two, you are going to, you are going to, P 
please pay attention with she we used is with you we used are you are going to fail and this is also very important i'm going to talk about this you are going to fail your exam why because you don't study well here i'm almost sure about your failure because you don't study very well for the exam also in sentence number three now this is about weather rain yes and to talk about weather we learned that we should use will but here we are using going to why because listen it is going to rain why i'm sure about it or almost sure there are a lot of black black clouds because there are a lot of uh, black clouds i can say it is going to rain not it will rain but when i am not sure i say it will rain now for the name exam i can use many verbs with this take exam pass the exam and fail the exam so be careful about it please for next time please try to prepare this this is homework uh, in the activity book in the activity book page 88 89 uh, also please in the student book prepare the story of bob and basim bob and basim thank you very much indeed have a nice day see you next lesson inshallah